And hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, Fatima. Welcome. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Fine. Great. Nice to have you here, Fatima. And hello, Gabriela. Welcome. How are you, Gabriela? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice to have you here, Gabby. And hello, Elena. Welcome. How are you? Elena, are you there? How are you? Fine. Hi. Hello. Yes, very fine. Very fine. Okay, nice to have you here, Elena. I see that you are very happy. So, we are going to start, guys, with today's class. And today, we have a speaking class. Speaking, so we are going to practice a lot together. So... As I told you, we are going to practice, but before, we are going to review some activities for, from the platform. Just give me one second. I'm going to show you some of the activities. There we go. See, there we have it. Very good. So we are going to practice with some of these activities. So let's begin with this one. This one. We are going to practice with this one. So we have these questions. We have these questions right here. And we have to match them. We have to match them with the correct answer okay so let me ask let's go with my participants and let me ask fatima the first one what do you think how old are you what is the correct option in this one how old mm -hmm. are you i am mm -hmm. uh, i am 19? 19 years old. Okay, very good, Fatima. Just one thing, can you repeat with me? Years, like this. Years, years. years. Very good job, Fatima. Thank you. Years old. Very years. good. And years old. Very good, and that is correct. And now let me ask Elena, what do you think with the next one? How long? Is your mother's hair? What do you think? Her hair is short. Is short. Very good. Her hair is her, short. Yes. Her cha her hair is the correct pronoun pron pronunciation. In this hair. case, hair. 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 <laughs> hair. Hair. Is short. Is short. Very good job, Elena. Thank you. And that is correct. And now let me go with Gabriela. What do you think? How old is Sofia? How old is Sofia? What do you think is the correct answer? Is 46. Okay, very good job, Gabriela. That is correct. And finally, let's go with Marlene. Welcome. What do you think, Marlene? How tall is your son? What do you think, Marley? Uh, he's uh, 168 meters. Very good job, Marlene. Just one thing. Can you repeat with me? Meters. 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 Very good job, Marlene. That is correct. And the final answer, you already know. I'm six feet tall. How tall are you? I am six feet tall tall very good guys thank you for helping me with this one and look at this you got 100 very good job and now let's go with another activity let's go with this one just one second let's go with this one and welcome Josue we are completing 
some activities from the platform. Thank you. Um, Hi, good yes. evening. Can you help me with this one, with the first one? What color are your father's eyes? What is the correct option? What do you think? Uh, um, he, his edges are blue. Are blue, very good, Jose, that is correct. Just one thing, can you repeat with me? His eyes. His eyes. Very good, eyes. his eyes are blue. Are blue. Are blue, very good job, Jose, that is correct. And hello, Ileana, welcome. Hello. Hello, good evening, Ileana. And the next one is for you. What do you think? How tall are you? What is the correct option, Ileana? How tall are you? I am one meter, uh, 62, 62. 62, very good job, Ileana, that is correct. And now let's go back with, let's see, let's go with Elena. Elena, what do you think? How long is your mother's hair? My mother hair is medium length. Medium length. Very good job, Elena. And this one, the last one. What color are your eyes? My eyes are dark brown. And look at this. And that is correct. Very good job, guys. And the last one. Let's go with the last activity that we are going to practice. This one. This is the last one that we will practice. And let's see, let me ask Gabriela, what do you think? What does your baby look like? Oh, my baby looks the teeny hands and black short hair. Okay, very good job. Just one thing, can you repeat with me? Tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny hands, tiny hands. Tiny and hands. Very good job. In hair, can you repeat with me? Hair. Short hairs. Short Very hair. Very good job, Gabriela. Amazing job. And now let's go with Fatima. Fatima, the second one is for you. What does your sister look like? She has red, curly. Mm -hmm. and kiss. Okay, nice. Thank you, Fatima. And just one thing, can you repeat with me? She has curly hair. Hair. She has red curly hair. Very good job. And freckles. And freckles. Freckles. Very good job, Fatima. Thank you. And that is correct. And if you didn't know, this is curly hair. Curly hair. Beautiful curly hair. And now let's go with this one. Let's see. We were in this activity. Yeah. And hello, Karina. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How hello. are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice to have you here, Karina. Can you help me with this question? What? Okay. What do your brothers look like? What is the correct option? What do okay. your brothers look like? Mm, he has long hair and big brown eyes. And big brown eyes. Okay, very nice effort, Karina. Just one thing, look at this. What do your brothers, brothers? Ah, yes, is they are tall, bow, and wear glasses. And wearing glasses. Very good job, Karina. Thank you so much. That is correct. In this case, we use they because brothers. We are talking about many. And finally, let's go with Marlene. Marlene, what do you think? What does your son look like? He has long hair and big brown eyes. Big brown eyes. Very good job, Marlene. And look at these guys. Dun, 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 dun. And that is correct. Very good job, guys. Thank you for helping me out. And now we are ready to start with the class. And as I told you before, today is speaking class. So we are going to practice. 
So this is the activity. We are going to go to the breakout rooms and you have four minutes to ask these questions, okay? Ask this question to your partner, to your classmate. For example, you can ask about their family members. You can ask them, how tall is your mom? Or what does your dad look like? Or how smart is your sister? Okay, so you are going to ask questions to your classmate. Is that clear? Or do you have any question about the activity? What do you think? Everything clear? Yes, clear. Clear, okay, great guys. So let's go to the breakout rooms. You will have three minutes to ask questions and then we come back. So let's begin. Okay, I'm going to create pairs, okay? And one of you is going to work with me because right now you guys are seven. So yes. Create. Yeah, so you will have three minutes. Let's see, let's see. Well centered. Okay, welcome, Andrea. Good evening. Good evening. And we are going to create breakup rooms. And so let's see, let's create them. Someone left. We were already going to create them, but let's go once again. Okay, very good. Three minutes, let's go to the breakup rooms. We have three minutes, guys, to ask these questions. So you can join, you can join. Gabriela, can you join the breakup room? Thank you. Hello, Karina. I'm going to work with you because you were alone, okay? Okay. So I'm going to ask you, Karina, how, how old is your mom? Ah, my mom is 45 years old. Okay, 45 years old. Very good job. And let me ask you, how tall is your mom? Uh, I don't know, maybe 155 meters. Meters, very good job. And let's see. What does she look like? Let's see. What color? What color is her hair? Uh, her color is um, blonde. Blonde hair. Blonde hair. hair. Nice. Uh, she has a brown, brown eye. Um, is very pretty. Is mm -hmm. very good. Um, Sometimes is angry, but <laughs> always uh, he he's happy. And mm -hmm. he's very good mother for me. Great. And, and he teach me a different different thing. For example, mm -hmm. uh, she she teach uh, touch touch mm -hmm. it. She taught a uh, cook. He taught a uh, be responsible. I am Re being responsible. Responsible, and, uh -huh, great. I'm responsible and different uh, thing. Very good job. Nice, nice job, Karina. Great description of your mom. And now let me ask you. Mm, how old is your dad? How old is your dad? Okay, my father is 46 years old. Great. 
And let's see. Oh, we only have five seconds. So thank you, Karina. Great, great job. We are going to go back to the main session. Okay, we still have 60 seconds. So let me okay. ask you, how tall is your dad? My dad uh, is 162 meter. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And let's see, what does he look like? Um, does he have short hair? What color? Okay. Uh, she, she has short hair. Uh, her color is king color, is black. Mm -hmm. And she has, how do you say, bigote, mustache, algo así. A mustache, uh -huh. a mustache. mustache. And she has a black eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, is very good. Uh, is very serious. Mm -hmm. And sometimes is very He is... Hola. And hello, everybody. The breakout rooms are closed. Did you ask the questions to your partner? Did you ask the questions? Yes or yes? Uh, yes. Yes, very yes. good, you guys. So let me give you an example. I was, I was working with Karina. So for example, Karina, um, she said that her mom is 45 years old. And also... Her mom is 1.5 meters tall and her mom has blonde hair and she's very pretty. And Karina said that her mother is a very good mother, um, that she, she taught her to be responsible. So that is my example. That is what Karina said. And now let's go with Marlene. Marlene, what did your partner say? Did you ask the questions, Marlene? Only two. Okay, tell me, Mari. Okay, um, my partner is Josue. Mm -hmm, great. Uh, her mother is 150 meters. Mm -hmm. and, and his father is short, mm -hmm. uh, chubby, and he have hair black and eyes black. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Okay. And let's see. And hello, Francisco. Welcome. Hi. And, hi. Good evening. Nice to have you here. And Thank you. Now let's go with Andrea. Andrea, tell me, what did your partner say, Andrea? Um, hello, my partner is Fatima. Mm -hmm, great. Um, she, she say that her mom mm -hmm. is medium. Mm -hmm, great. Her father is medium too. Mm -hmm. And he has white hair and dark eyes dark eyes her skin is and he have he has sorry mm -hmm. um dark skin or brown skin no estoy muy segura cuál de las dos es correcta dark, you can say dark skin dark skin mm -hmm. and Uh, that's, that's, it. that's it very good job Andrea thank you nice job and now let's see let me ask let's go with Gabriela Gabriela tell me what did your partner say Gabriela my partner is Ileana great um, your mother is Mm -hmm. 63 years old. Mm -hmm. Great. 
um, your brother is intelligent. Mm -hmm. Is um, short. Short, nice. Mm -hmm. Only question. Only that. Very good job, Gabriela. Thank you. And now let me ask. Let's see the last participant. Let me ask. Josue, tell me, what did your partner say, Josue? Uh, my Marlene. Ah, Marlene, very good. Um, uh, yes. Who tall is your mom? Mm -hmm. um, I, I mom is a short, short. Uh huh. Her mom um, has short hair. Um, and what does your dad, your dad look, look uh, like? Look like. Um, mm -hmm. Very good. And what did she say, Josue? What did she say? What did she respond? Oh, sorry. Um, um, mm -hmm. um, my that, uh, sorry, um, that is. Medium, remember. Uh huh. Carry that is medium. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, 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 mm -hmm. what else? Um, no, not remember. <laughs> you don't remember. No. It's okay. No. It's okay, don't worry, thank you. And now let's see guys, thank you for your participation. And just one, just a couple of things. For example, when you are talking about, for example, uh, let me ask you, Josue, how old is your mom? How old is your mom, Josue? Uh, my mom is um, uh, me, me, you know? How old? Age, old, for example. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Old, uh, sorry. Um, um, uh, she's, uh, my mom, six, eight, 68, 68, uh-huh. Yeah, Years old. Very good job, Jose. Thank you. So this is my example, guys. His mom, his mom mm -hmm. is 68 years old, okay? I am talking about Josue's mom, Josue's mom. So in this case, I'm going to use this word. Look at this, his mom. Mm -hmm. His mom is 68 years old. And now let me give you another example, Gabriela. How old is your mom, Gabriela? My mom is 62 years old. Very good job. So in this case, I'm talking about Gabriela's mom. Her mom, her mom is 62 years old. So look at this. Her mom. For Josue, because he is a man, we are going to say his mom. His mom is 68. In Gabriela's case, she's a woman. So we say her mom is 62 years old. Is this clear, guys? Or do you have any questions? The please, teacher. Okay. So in this case, the first one is for, for men. Let's see. So the first one is for men. Look at this. We are talking about Josue's mom. Mm -hmm. So we say his mom. 
His mom is 68 years old. In this one, we are talking about Gabriela's mom. So that is for a woman. Her mom is 62 years old. Is that clear? Uh, okay. Yes, please. Okay, Let's very go. good. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the questions. So just keep that in mind, guys. And one last thing you can say. If you say he has eyes black, what do you think? Is that correct? He has eyes black. Do we say it like that? Yes or no? Is okay. yes. Uh -huh. Karina, what do you so, think? Him, him has. Mm -hmm. He has eyes black. Is that correct or no? Is the correct? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this one, what do you think? He has black eyes. What is the correct one? Ah, yes. He has black eyes. Very good job. Thank you, Karina. So remember, guys, the order. He has eyes black. We have to change the order. The correct one is this one. He has black eyes, okay? Black eyes. So very good job, guys. Thank you for your participation. Very good descriptions. And now we go with the next activity. Look at this. And we have reading time. So we are going to read this paragraph and then we are going to answer some questions. It's easy, guys. Don't worry. You can do it. So let me ask, Francisco, can you help me read, read the first line? This one right here. The first one, Francisco, please. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Lucy, and this is my beloved grandfather. His name is Tim, and he is my best friend. My grandfather is 64 years old, and he is retired now. So he has plenty of time to be um, okay with me. I love him every, very much. And I know he loves me too. We usually spend a lot of time together. A lot of time together. Very good job, Francisco. Nice pronunciation. Thank you for helping me read. And now we go with Marlene. Marlene, help me read. The first three lines, Marlene, please. He is a widow and he, and he lives with me, my father, my mother, and my brother, Kevin. We live in a big house in Fort Collins, Colorado. My grandfather is a very tall and a strong man. Can you see me? Can you see me and his shoulders in this picture? He's really strong. My grandfather is patient and caring man. Man, very good, Marlene. Thank you. Just one thing. Can you repeat with me? He lives like this. He lives. He lives. Very good. And this one, my grandfather is a patient. Patient. Patient and caring. Like that. Caring. Okay. Patient and caring. And caring. Very good job, Marlene. Thank you so much. And finally, let's go with dun, 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 dun. let's go with Iliana. Iliana, help me read. The last the last lines right here, Iliana. The last one. And sometimes I think he's a magician. I'm a, uh -huh, great. He's always uh, guessing what I want to do, to do or to eat or what I feel inside. 
When I am sad, he always makes me laugh with his funny face. He puts me on his shoulders. He tells me many stories. I know they are imaginary, but it pretend they are real. He even sings for me. Sings for me. Very good job, Ileana. Just one thing. Can you repeat with me? Magician, like this. Magi Ma magician. Very good. He's a, I think he's a magician. And yeah. this one, he tells me many stories, like this. Many. Many stories. Many stories. Very good job, Ileana. Thank you. And now, guys, that we did the reading. We are ready to answer some questions and you are going to help me. So let's go with, let's see, let's go with Andrea. Let's go with Andrea. The first one is for you, Andrea. How old is Tim? Do you remember, Andrea? How old is Tim? Yes. Um, he has 60. Four mm -hmm. years old. Years old. Very good. That is correct. Is sixty-four. Okay. Can you read the full sentence, Timmy? Tim is sixty-four years old. Years old. Very good job, Andrea. Thank you so much. That is correct. So now we go with Josue. The next one is for you, Josue. What do you think? What does Tim look like? What does Tim look like? What do you think? Tim is? Do you remember? Weak or strong? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Josue? The grandfather. Weak or strong? What do you think? Josue, are you there? Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Um, um, strong. Strong. Very good job, Josue. Strong. So, team is strong. 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 Very good job, Josue. That is correct. And now let me ask, let's see, let me ask Fatima, what do you think? Tim is short, short or tall? Tim is tall. Tall, very good job, Fatima, that is correct. Tall. And now let me ask Karina, this one is for you. My grandfather is, what is the word missing? Do you remember my okay. friend? My, see, see? Great. My grandfather is special and caring. And caring. Very good job, Karina. That is correct. Amazing job. And thank you guys for helping me complete. You did great. Very, very good job. And now let's move on to a listening activity, guys. So. I'm going to play an audio and you are going to help me with the answers, okay? You are going to listen and you tell me the answer. So it's going to be easy, don't worry. You can do it because you are very intelligent. So it's going to be easy for you. Let's see. There we go. So I'm going to play this audio right here. And you give me the answer. So the first participant is going to be Gabriela. Are you there, Gabriela? Are you ready, Gabriela? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. So I'm going to play the audio and number one is for you. So listen. One. So is your boss young? He's in his third. Ah, and let's see. Let me tell you. We have three options. We have the age. Look at this. We have age, height, and hair. 
you are going to listen and you tell me, what are they talking about? Age, height, or hair? So now we are ready to go with this one. One. So is your boss young? He's in his 30s, I guess. About 35. So, Gabriela, what do you think? What are they talking about? Age, height, or the hair? The hair. Age. Age. Very good job, Gabriela. That is correct. And now, Elena, are you there, Elena? Sorry, miss. Me quedé sin internet. Ahorita soy perdida. Don't worry, Elena. So, I'm going to play an audio, an audio, and you tell me the answer. So, we have three options. Age, height, and the hair. So, okay. you are going to listen and you tell me, what are they talking about? Age, height, or hair? So, okay. let's play it. Number two is for you. Two. It's pretty long. What color is it? It's light brown. And it's a little curly. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Elena? Are they talking about age, height, or the hair? The hair. Hair. Very good job, Elena. That is correct. They are talking about hair. They are talking about curly hair. Curly hair. And now, let's see. Let's go with the next participant. Let's go with Marlene. Marlene, number three is for you. Are you ready, Marlene? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, number three is for you. Three. He's really not very tall, about five feet, eight inches. Oh, yeah. That's not so tall. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Marlene? Age, height, or hair? Height. Height. Very good job, Marlene. Amazing. That is correct. And now we go with... Josué, are you there, Josué? Number four is for you. Yes, teacher. Um... Great. So let's play it. Four is for you. Four. He looks about 17. No, he's older than that. He's almost 25. No, I don't believe it. He doesn't look that old. Okay, what do you think, Josué? Age, yeah. height, or hair? Age. Age. Very good job, Jose. That is correct. You are doing amazing, guys. Very, very good. So now let's go with Fatima. Fatima, number five is for you. So let's play it. Five. She likes to wear it really short. Yeah? And is it straight or curly? Curly. Really curly. You can't miss her when you see her. Okay, what do you think, Fatima? Hairs. Hair. Very good job, Fatima. That is correct. They are talking about hair. And now who hasn't participated? Let's go with Francisco. Are you there, Francisco? I hear the show. Hey, thank you. So number six is for you. Listen carefully. I'm going to go with number six. Dun, 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 dun. Just give me one second. There we go. Number six. Six. Is she short? No, she's really tall, about six feet. Seven. Okay, what do you think, Francisco? What are they talking about? Um, is Heidi. Heidi. Which one? Uh, uh Heidi. Ah, height. Yes. Very good. Can you, can you repeat with me? Height. Don't worry. Height. Like this. Height. 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 Very good job, height. Francisco. That is correct. They were talking about height. So there we go. Thank you very much. And the last one who is missing. Let's see who hasn't participated. Let's go with Ileana. Ileana, number seven is for you, Ileana. Are you there? I'm ready. 
Okay, thank you, Liana. So number seven is for you. Is she in her teens or her 20s? I think she's in her 20s. She's really nice. Do you want to meet her? Yeah, sure. So what do you think, Liana? Age, height, or hair? Age. Age. Very good job, Liana. Amazing. And... Let's see the last participant who hasn't participated. Let's go with Andrea. Andrea, number eight is for you, Andrea. So get ready. Eight. It's not very long, but it is very straight. And sometimes it's green. Green? Yeah, he sings in a rock band, I think. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Andrea? Age, height, or hair? Hair. Hair. Very good job, Andrea. That is correct. Amazing job, guys. You did very, very well. You got all of them correct. So thank you so much. And now we go with another activity. Let's see. Let me show you which one was it. So the T. In this one, guys. We are going to listen to the conversation and we are going to write the missing words, okay? These missing words right here, the missing words. Okay, so listen and you tell me the word. So let's go with who hasn't participated. Okay. Let's go with Karina. This one is for Karina. And hello, Manuel. Welcome. Good evening. So, are you ready, Karina? Yes, teacher. Okay, this one is for you. Let's play it. What does your new boyfriend look like, Jenna? Well, he's really good looking. Oh, is he tall? Huh? In this one? The first one, what do you think, oh. Karina? Is he tall? Is he tall? Amazing. Good ear. Very good job, Karina. Is he tall? And let's continue with the next one. See, it wasn't participated. I think everybody participated already. Just let me check. Okay, Emmanuel, are you there? Manuel, can you help me with the next one? Okay, maybe he's in there. So let's go once again with Gabriela. Gabriela, listen and you tell me what is missing in the next one. No, he isn't. He's pretty short. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Gabriela? What is missing here? Here. Here is no. Okay, let me play it again for you. He isn't. He's pretty short. No, he isn't. Oh, is he tall? No, he isn't. He's pretty short. What do you think? Uh, no, he? Mm -hmm. No, he? He? Can you repeat, please? No, he? He's. He's. He? Is? Okay, very nice, Gabriela. We are missing just one thing. Is he tall? No, he isn't. He isn't. Isn't. Uh, very good job. Thank you, Gabriela. No, he, we were only missing this. No, he isn't. Very good. And the last one is for Marlene. Are you ready, Marlene? Yes. Okay, thank you. So let's play it for you. Is he tall? No, he isn't. He's pretty short. Really? Are you taller than him? What do you think, Marley? Really? Are you... Are... Mm -hmm. Very good job, Marlene. That is correct. Are you taller? Very good job. And let's see, the last one is going to be for Josue. Are you there, Josue? Yes, teacher. Great, so let's continue. No, we're about the same height. Let's see. And he has curly brown hair. 
He sounds cute. Is he about your age? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Jose? Let's see. Okay, about this song. Huh? This one, this one. I can play it again. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's okay. let's play it again. And he has curly brown hair. He sounds cute. Is he about your age? Yes, he is. And we have the same birthday. Mm -hmm. What do you think in that one? Hair. He sounds cute. Is he about your age? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Jose? Is that? Um, is how very good. That's correct. The first one is, and then is Here. is just one word. Uh, you are missing the subject. Is um. don't worry you. if you. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. nice effort. Don't worry. Let's ask for help to Fatima. Fatima, what do you think? Is what is missing here, Fatima? Do you remember? Lo puede poner otra. <laughs> sure. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's go. Let's see. And he has curly brown hair. He sounds cute. Is he about your age? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Fatima? Is a... Uh, is a... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, nice try. Who wants to help? Who wants to help with this one? We are talking about a boyfriend, about a boy. Do you remember the subject for a boy? Is he he? Very good mm -hmm. job. Thank you. That is correct. Is he... So, Josue, can you repeat with me? Is he about your age? Is he about your age? Very good job, Josue. So, in this case, we were missing the subject. They are talking about a boy. So, in this case, he. Very good job, guys. Thank you for helping me. Great, great job with the listening. And now, we go with the last activity, okay? And in the last activity... I'm going to ask you this question. What do you look like? What do you look like? So let me give you an example. I, let's see. I am a young adult. I am not very tall. I am quite short. I have long hair and I have brown hair. I have brown eyes. And what else? I am a little bit slim. And yes. So you are going to tell me what do you look like? So you have 30 seconds. Think about it. And then I'm going to ask you. You can do it. Think about your answers. And let's see, let's begin with Francisco. Let's see, Francisco, what do you look like, Francisco? What do you look like? Um, let me see. I am tall. Mm -hmm, great. And lean. Mm -hmm, nice. And I have brown eyes. Great. My hair is short. Mm -hmm. And I am an adult. Uh, an adult. Mm -hmm. An adult, great. Um, anyway. Very good job. Thank you, Francisco. Nice description. Very good job. And now we go with 
Iliana, let's go with Iliana. What do you look like, Iliana? Uh, I am medium. Mm -hmm. I have uh, brown eyes. Mm -hmm. um, my hair is a uh, long um, wave. Long, wavy, uh -huh, great. Uh, wavy. And um, have uh, brown hair. Mm -hmm. I have a, a, a skin um, white. Mm -hmm. um, uh, <laughs> great, great job, Eliana. Thank you for your description. Nice job. And now let's see. Let's go with Andrea. Let's go with Andrea. Andrea. What do you look like, Andrea? I am medium. Mm -hmm. I am. I have brown eyes. Great. And I have glasses. Nice. And I have long hair, and my hair is. <laughs> wavy sometimes <laughs> I have brown hair mm -hmm. and it's all okay very good job Andrea thank you so much for your description now choose the next participant Andrea who is the next participant Choose the next participant. For example, you can choose Gabriela, you can choose Elena, Marlene, Manuel, Karina. Who do you choose? I choose Elena. Elena. Okay, very good. Thank you. So we go with Elena. So we go with Elena. Elena, what do you look like, Elena? Um, I am an adult. Mm -hmm. um, I am a thing or something. Me. Thing. Hi, you slim. can say thin or slim. Okay, I am slim. Mm -hmm. And I have my brown eyes. Mm -hmm. And I have my hair short and black hair. Black hair, nice. Yes, um, my skin is I am or I have. I have. I have. Um, you can say light skin or dark skin. It's light skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have light skin. Light skin. Skin. Okay, very good job, Elena. Thank you, very good job for your description. And now choose the next participant, Elena. Uh, you can Fatima. choose Fatima. Very good. Thank you, Elena. So let's go with Fatima. Fatima, what do you look like, Fatima? I am sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have um, black eyes. Eyes. Mm -hmm. Eyes. Great. I have um, a long hair. Blonde hair. Great. Um, I have. Um, Mm -hmm. In your hair, is it straight, wavy, or curly? Wavy. Wavy, I nice. Wavy. Mm -hmm. um, okay, very good job, Fatima. Thank you for your description. Choose the next participant, Fatima. Who goes next? 
you can choose, for example, Marlene or let's see, oh, Gabriel. Okay, very good. Thank you. But let's see, Josue already participated. Okay. Um, I am Paul. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I have uh, broad, broad edges. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I have short hair. Mm -hmm. um, I am um, a slim. Mm -hmm. um, um, I am um, I, I, I am the, the what was it three again? <laughs> um, you can say a medium skin. Medium ah, skin. Ah, so, so, yeah, I, I am medium, medium skin. You can say my ah. skin. I have like this. I have ah. medium skin tone. You can say this as uh, oh. skin tone. I have medium skin, skin tone. Skin tone. Skin Very tone. good. Um. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Very good job, Jose. Thank you for your participation. And now let's see. Let's go with Manuel. Are you there, Manuel? Hello. Hello, Manuel. Good evening. Let me ask you. What, Good evening. what do you look like? I am an adult. I am short. Mm -hmm. Pardon. It's... Paul, uh, okay. I have blue, no, I am bro S. Uh -huh. I am skin on a short. Mm -hmm. Solamente. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you for your participation. And thank you, everybody. You did a very, very good job. So we are about to finish in just a couple of corrections. With the pronunciation, eyes, this word, guys, eyes, we pronounce it like this. Imagine, eyes, like that. Eyes. 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 Very good. Or this one, hair, we say it like this. Hair. 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 Very good. And... See, wavy, this word, wavy hair, like wavy hair. Wavy. Say like wavy. 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 Very good, guys. And finally, if you want to say, for example, I am, I am brown eyes. Is this correct, guys? What do you think? If I say I am brown eyes, is that correct or not correct? Is incorrect. Incorrect. Why, Karina? Tell me. Because is I I have wrong eyes. Very good job, Karina. That is correct. In this case, is I have brown eyes, or you can say I have long hair. Hmm, there we go. The only one that we use am is for age. I am, for example. You can say 30. I am 30 years old. In this yeah. one, this is correct. In this one, we use am. I am 30 years old. But for the other mm. ones, have. Okay? Is that clear? Or do you have any questions? Is that clear? Yes, clear. Clear. Okay, very good. So if you don't have questions, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for coming to the class. And if you have any questions, remember uh, about the platform, you can text me through the WhatsApp chat and I'll be happy to help you. So thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night and have a good day.
See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day in the morning. See you. Teacher, teacher. Tell me, Andrea. No se vaya. Don't worry. Tengo una duda con eh, lo del examen de la unidad 2. Uh -huh. Porque hubo una parte que salió, bueno, que lo tomó como malo, que estábamos hablando del doesn't and don't. don't. De cuándo uh -huh. usamos don't y cuándo usamos doesn't. Ok. Y yo tengo entendido que cuando es hacia una tercera persona o nos referimos a una tercera persona, se utiliza doesn't. Yes, sí, así es. Ajá. Entonces hay una, una respuesta eh, que está hablando como de children y nos pide usar o don't o doesn't. Ajá. Y cuando yo marqué doesn't, el sistema me lo puso como malo. Ah, ok. Ajá. En sí, este caso, children. <risa> children. Ajá. ¿Quién sabe qué significa children? Niño. Niño. Means, it means niños. Niño es child. Este es un niño, child, uno. Ah. Pero si estoy hablando de dos, digo two children. Ajá. Ajá, aquí sería two children. Pero si quiero solo decir one, sería one child. Like this. Entonces, uh -huh. children es plural. They. Is they. Exactly. Es they. Uh -huh. Oh, entonces en ese caso se tuvo que haber utilizado el don't. Ajá. Un ejemplo sería, don't. ah, sería children, children Does, don't, don't, uh -huh, don't like, don't like vegetables, digamos. Oh. Ah, okay. Sí, yo tenía la misma duda porque igual me había salido mal esa y me salió mal donde dice mom a dad. Entonces yo también había puesto el doesn't y eh, me sale que es don't. Uh -huh. Pero ahora sí, claro. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, si estamos mencionando mom and dad, ahí sería day, porque son los dos. Day. Uh -huh. Ah, ya. Ahora sí. Ok. Así me quedó más claro. <risa> ok, me alegro, me alegro. Gracias por preguntar. Siempre que tengan una duda, pregúntenme que yo con gusto les ayudo. Ok, gracias. Gracias. Buenas bueno, noches. Bueno, buenas noches. Gracias. Nos vemos mañana. See you. Bye.